Good day everyone, here I am again Sir June and welcome to our online Mataralan. And for more educational videos, you may visit my YouTube channel Sir June. And today, our topic is all about crafting activity sheet that will fit in the new normal. In our situation today, the use of activity sheets and worksheets would be the most common. Pero, paano tayo makakagawa ng activity sheet na pwede natin i-incorporate ang iba't ibang household activities? I'm sure na magiging masaya ito if students do their household chores and at the same time perform the activity required by the school. The Department of Education, Central Office, Regional Offices, and Schools Division Offices are now busy preparing modules in all learning areas to be used in the opening of classes. These modules will be distributed to students and to their parents. Parents will receive instruction from the teachers on what they should do with the modules. Then at home, parents will serve as teachers of their children. The challenge in this kind of modality is the ability of parents to teach a particular topic or if the parents are both working. That is why I always suggest na huwag magbigay ng mahirap na activity. Make sure also that the experiences and the evaluation are the same with the provided examples. Remember that the students could have no one to ask to if they don't understand the lesson. Kaya the example should be thoroughly explained. Pwedeng gumawa ng supplementary material ang teacher sa pamamagitan ng paggawa ng activity sheet. I call this as modified activity sheet kasi it is based on household activities of the students or the family. Parang hindi sila nag-aaral. They just go on with their activity or everyday chores like cooking, cleaning the house, cleaning the dishes, gardening, playing, etc. Not knowing that their lesson in mathematics has been incorporated already. The... Model or the modified uh, activity sheet na ipapakita ko ay pwedeng standalone o kaya naman ay supplementary to a particular module. On the slide are the different parts of the modified activity sheet. Of course, it has a title. Pwedeng isulat ang quarter number, grade level, at saka activity sheet number. The main parts are the objective, the material, the instruction to the parent, instruction and questions to the student, what have you learned or this is the generalization and how much have you learned or the evaluation part of the activity sheet. We will discuss this one by one in the succeeding slides. Tulad ng nasabi ko kanina, the title includes the grade level, the quarter, and the number of the activity sheet. The objective is the first main part of the modified activity sheet. Write the target objective to be developed. It should be taken from the most essential learning competencies issued by the Department of Education. By the way, speaking of most essential learning competencies, I have prepared a budgeted most essential learning competency. Ang mga competency po ay nainati ko na sa 8 weeks instead of 9 weeks na inilabas ng DepEd. 8 weeks lang naman kasi ang dapat pero hindi ko alam bakit may 9 weeks pa rin sa mathematics. Nakalagay na rin sa budgeted milk ko ang date at kung ano ang competency na ituturo in that particular date. Nakalagay na rin doon ang holiday at ang schedule ng quarterly assessment. If you are interested to have a copy, just visit the Facebook group, the Pedro Mlon Mathematics Teachers Official Group. Then look for the revised copy. The next part of the modified activity sheet is the materials. Nakalagay dito kung ano-ano ang mga, kag mga kagamitan na kakailanganin para maisagawa ang activity. Make sure also that the activities are those that are common inside the house like cooking, setting the table, gardening, or poultry raising kung meron. Kung sa tingin ninyo ay wala sa bahay ang material na kakailanganin ng bata, mas mabuting ikaw na mag-provide. Halimbawa, yung board game. The next part is the instructions to the parent. Parents' involvement or guidance in self-learning of the students is important. Please indicate the role of the parents or what the parents should do to facilitate the learning of their children. Pwedeng pakiusap na ipagamit ang mga gamit sa bahay, syempre with their supervision. O kaya naman na isama nila ang kanilang anak sa pag-prepare ng food. While they are preparing the food, they are or there are questions that the parents should ask to facilitate learning. Halimbawa, your topic is fraction. The parent may ask the student to measure one-fourth cup of water half liter of water, etc. Make sure that it is properly stipulated in the instruction for parents. Kung sa tingin ninyo ay hindi masyadong makaintindi ang magulang, pwede na magtagalog ang instruction. The next is the instruction and questions to student. 
If you have instructions to parent, you should have instruction to, stu to the students. It includes what they should do or perform to conduct a particular activity. Kasama rin dito ang tanong. While a student is conducting the activity, it is important to follow it up by questions. The questions will allow them to reflect towards internalization of the concept to be developed. The fifth part is the summary of what the students have learned. You may use here the language-based strategies in teaching mathematics to develop the communication skills of students through writing. Kung gusto niyong matutunan ang different language-based strategies in teaching mathematics, you may watch it in my YouTube channel, Sir Dune. And finally, determine how much the students have learned. This is the evaluation part. If your activity sheet is supplemental to a module, you may instruct the student to go back to the module and answer the activity intended for evaluation. Pero kung ang activity sheet mo ay standalone, pwede ka nang maglagay ng evaluation questions sa activity sheet. The activity for evaluation should be written in the notebooks of the students. This will be collected and checked by the teacher. Pwede every Friday, depende kung kailan ang schedule. Kung hindi kasi pwede, ang face-to-face, -face, pwede ang ibigay ng module o activity sheet ay from Monday to Thursday. Tapos sa Friday, kukolektahin ang mga outputs. Huwag kalimutan na maglagay ng feedback sa notebook ng mga bata about their performance. Kung may mali, sabihin kung ano ang mali at ano ang dapat na ginawa. Punta po tayo sa sample modified activity sheet. This modified activity sheet was made to supplement a module on reading and writing numbers in symbols. This activity sheet is intended for grade 4. The lesson is for the first quarter. The objective is for the students to read and write numbers in symbols up to 100,000. In order to perform this activity, the students need the mat race board game, dice, paper or notebook, and writing materials. This is the instruction for the parents or guardian of the student. It tells the parent to spare the time with their child to play with the board game. The board game is mat race which I have developed. It instructs the parent that when the pato or of their child lands on a cartoon character, they will ask their child to read and write the number in the module in symbol. Kung ang ginawa mo ay standalone activity sheet, you should provide questions instead of going back to the module. Playing board game is a good time for family bonding. Here is the matrix board game. Make sure that the student has a copy of this board game. Here is the instruction for the student. Make sure that the instructions are clear. This is the part of the activity sheet where the students will write what they have learned. You may use language-based strategies in teaching mathematics for the generalization to develop also the skill of the students in language. Then, the student will go back to the module to answer the activity intended for evaluation. But if your activity sheet is standalone, there is no need to go back to the module. You may provide an evaluation activity to measure how much have learned by the student. Maraming mga gawain sa bahay na pwede nating paghugutan ng tema ng ating activity sheet. Alibawa, while the students are helping their parents in setting and clearing the table, they can count, multiply, subtract, and divide items based on their age. They can count the number of plates, spoon, and fork. They can divide the number of hot dogs for each member of the families. Folding and sorting laundry provides also an opportunity to sort and categorize for young learners and to talk about geometry with older students. Categorize the t-shirts, shorts, etc. For older children, they can come up with the different shapes or compute for area occupied by the t-shirt, etc. Learning would be fun for the students with the inv involvement of the family members. Menu and meal planning are a great time to talk about the cost of items and estimation. Cooking together is an opportunity to read, follow directions, and practice fractions. Older children can double or half a recipe and estimate how much they need to make to feed the family. Younger children can measure and estimate. Meal time can be used as a theme too. Children can do counting, measuring, estimating, comparing, and recognizing shapes. You may instruct the parents to let their children help them in measuring and counting ingredients. Playing board games could also be used as a theme in developing an activity sheet. There are a lot of board games that can be used and integrate mathematical concept in it. They are playing, at the same time, they are also learning. 
This is another activity sheet for grade 7 which I have prepared also. It asks permission from the parent to allow the student to use the analog wall clock because analog wall clock will be the material to be used. Pero kung meron namang analog clock na laruan, ito na lang ang gamitin. Nakalagay din dito na pumirma sa activity log ang parent para mapatunayan na ginawa nga ito ng kanyang anak. This is the instruction for the student. Nakalagay dito ang gagawin ng bata at may kasama itong mga tanong para mas strengthen ang pagkatuto ng bata. After the student has performed the activity, isusulat na niya ang kanyang mga natutunan. And finally, the activity sheet directs the student to go back to the module to answer the specific activity intended for evaluation. But if the activity sheet is developed as standalone, you may provide here an evaluation question instead of directing them to go back to the module. There ends our session. Thank you for watching at sana ay may natutunan kayo. Sabi ko nga, this activity sheet is different from the activity sheet na na-download yun na. Pero, pwede nyo pa rin i-modify ang mga activity sheet na na-download na ninyo. Siguraduhin lang na ang tema ng inyong activity sheet ay ang mga gawain sa loob ng bahay. And in order for you to receive a certification that you have indeed participated in this online mataralan by watching this video, please share this video and comment a certain household activity na pwedeng maging tema ng inyong activity sheet. Do not forget to comment your full name. Again, this is Sir June saying thank you very much for watching. Till our next session, keep safe everyone.